National Research Center on Plant Biotechnology or NRCPB has been established two decades back as one of the departments of Indian Agricultural Research Institute. In course of time, this department has evolved into a full-fledged institute under the umbrella of Indian Council of Agricultural Research. Keeping in view the importance of biotechnology and the tools and techniques available, the Indian Council of Agricultural Research decided to institute this center to make use of these techniques in crop improvement. The mandate of National Research Center on Plant Biotechnology is to undertake plant molecular biology research to devise tools and techniques for crop improvement to apply the knowledge of genomics for agricultural production to serve as national lead center for creating trained manpower in the area of plant biotechnology. In the past 20 years, the center has made significant progress and tremendous achievements in terms of product development, technology development and training of human resources. The center has developed a high yielding Soma clonal variant of Indian mustard named as Pusa Jaikisan, which is suitable for cultivation in the states of Rajasthan, Gujarat, Punjab and Uttar Pradesh. Even after 10 years of its commercialization, the demand for the breeder seed of Pusa Jaikisan remains very high as it has a very bold seed and high oil content. The other aspect that we took up was development of hybrid mustards. We were fortunate in having a large collection of wild species of mustard, which were having qualities for disease resistance, drought tolerance, salinity tolerance, and the like. We have been successful in developing the cytoplasmic maize sterile lines and fertility restorer lines. We have identified the mitochondrial genes which are responsible for maize sterility. These lines or the so-called genetic stocks are the key for hybrid seed production on a large scale. NRCPB has been involved in the genetic modification of the important crop species like cotton, rice and vegetable crops like brinjal and tomato. The center has developed an open pollinated variety of Bt cotton by name Bikaneri Narma for commercialization in collaboration with other ICR institutes such as Central Institute for Cotton Research, universities like uh, University of Agricultural Sciences at Dharwad. The Bt cotton variety has been approved by the Government of India for cultivation by the farmers. Similarly, the center has developed fruit borer resistant brinzal variety by name Posa Purple Long. The transgenic brinjal variety has been licensed to four private seed companies for further testing and commercialization through public-private partnership. 
And in our country, we have more than 60 percent total cultivated land which is rain fed. So, therefore, we need to increase productivity from this area, you know, which is totally dependent on rain and there are no sources of irrigation available. We have uh, developed transgenic wheat, mustard and tomato and we have compared their performance which is much better than the non-transgenic counterpart under phytotron conditions. In India, there is huge monetary loss due to post-harvest spoilage of fruits and vegetables. NRCPB scientists have been involved in the development of genetically modified varieties to extend the shelf life of vegetables like tomato. The center has also developed tomato with increased lycopene content which is anti-carcinogenic and antioxidant. NRCPB has made considerable progress in the isolation of novel genes and promoters which are extremely valuable in the development of transgenic crops. Our group is involved in identification of novel promoters which would impart tissue specific or environmental signal specific expression to the introduced genes. We make use of a plant called Arabidopsis thaliana which is considered a model plant all over the world for basic and molecular biology studies. We make use of a technique called promoter trap for this purpose. The other plant which we work with is chickpea which is an important pulse crop of India. Chickpea suffers from lack of moisture at the time of seed setting which is called terminal drought and we are trying to look for genes which are associated in providing drought tolerance at the terminal seed setting stage in chickpea. NRCPB has been working in the frontier areas of molecular biology such as structural and functional genomics of major crop species. In functional genomics, the center is working on mapping, cloning and expression analysis of genes responsible for rice grain number, grain quantity, aroma and resistance to rice blast. In case of genomics, we are working on uh, three crops. One is rice which is already uh, finished, it was completed in 2005. Then the second one which is now ongoing is the tomato genome. And this is again a network of 10 countries uh, which are doing this decoding of tomato genome. The third uh, program which we have is the Pigeon P Genomics uh, Initiative and this was started last year in 2007 uh, under the Indo-US Agricultural Knowledge Initiative. And the other area which we are working in rice is the trying to understand the basis of basmati quality. We are also working on wheat and wheat is another very important crop and in this case we are working on the drought tolerance and the terminal heat tolerance and also the quality of wheat. The center has a strong molecular breeding activity aimed at the improvement of rice and mustard for different agronomic traits. The scientists have developed through marker assisted selection a bacterial blight resistant basmati rice variety which has been released to the farmers for cultivation. We have been working in the area of molecular markers and their applications for the past 20 years at the center. We have designed a large number of molecular markers and use them for constructing genome maps, for tagging genes of importance, and for generating DNA fingerprints of crop varieties, including basmati rice. More recently, we have employed marker-assisted selection and transferred two genes for bacterial leaf blight disease resistance from a non-basmati donor line to the commercially important Pusa Basmati 1 through a collaborative effort involving the division of genetics IRI. This new line named Improved Pusa Basmati 1 has been released as a commercial variety for cultivation in the country. NRCPB scientists have been involved in studying plant microbe interactions with the major objective of improving nitrogen fixation in legumes like chickpea and pigeon pea. Mutants of rhizobia that give better nitrogen fixation in chickpea nodules were isolated and field tested. We also try to um, improve the strain in a such a way that is more competitive. That is that when you introduce it into the soil, it is able to enter the nodule of, or it can form the nodule. 
it can outcompete the local uh, bacteria. NRCPB has a strong bioinformatics facility with very high end computation servers, storage, high speed connectivity, and trained manpower. This facility supports all the genomics and transgenic activities of the center. Bioinformatics is a computational system which can be used to collect, store, and analyze biological data. At National Research Center on Plant Biotechnology, we have established bioinformatic facility under Indian Initiative on Rice Genome Sequencing in June 2000. Bioinformatics tools can be used for gene prediction, gene annotation, and for doing comparative and functional genome analysis. These tools are very handy now to analyze huge amount of biological data which is available in terms of protein sequences in the gen banks and we can assign function to the genome sequence data by using computational tools. The center has collected the whole genome sequence of rice, complete genome sequence of Arabidopsis, grapes and populus. Besides genome sequence of all the crops and fruit trees available in public domain databases are stored in the servers at NRCPB. We are mining genome sequence data to find genes and DNA markers of agriculturally important traits. We have designed DNA markers such as simple sequence repeats as well as SNP markers from rice genomes which are being used for crop improvement program in various programs in India. The biotech industry is growing at a much faster rate and therefore the demand for the trained personnel in the area of agricultural biotechnology is also increasing. We need to put more emphasis on R&D and on basic sciences in the area of agricultural biotechnology. NRCPB conducts masters and PhD programs in the area of agricultural biotechnology. The center is one of the premier institutions we have in India in agricultural education in the area of biotechnology. The faculty members have doctoral and postdoctoral experience from world-renowned institutions such as Harvard University, Cold Spring Harbor Laboratory, Max Planck Institute and many other reputed molecular biology institutes. NRCPB has state-of-the-art facility which is being used to provide training to the scientists of the National Agricultural Research System in modern areas of genetic engineering, molecular breeding, genomics, bioinformatics and biosafety issues related to GMOs. It has helped in developing trained human resource in agricultural biotechnology who is now working in different state agricultural universities and ICAR institutes all over India.